Welcome to Obsidian for Tabletop RPGs. Let's learn how to use the tool. All right, g'day guys, and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be diving into vault optimization and uh, specifically image optimization. Um, my vault is getting pretty big, um, and to show you what I'm talking about, here is my properties for my Obsidian 5e vault currently, sitting just shy of 20 gigabytes. Um, that's that's a pretty significant vault size and it's starting to cause concerns for me all right so I, I like to back my vault up to Git, uh, github i use github to sync between multiple pcs um, and obviously like there's a storage limitation there so you know i don't want to get to a point where i need to pay for that storage i prefer to keep it free and one way to do that is obviously to optimize all of the images um, that have been used in my vault now uh, another consideration that I do have, and just to show you this, is when I first launched my website, there used to be a bit of a delay to actually load these pages. And the reason for that I found out was because I was using PNG files, um, and PNG files can obviously be quite different in size. Um, they, they're a lot larger, they're a lot higher quality as well. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm finding ways now to convert those images over to a uh, web, web B, um, I think it's called, um, or either a JPEG file. They're both smaller, um, and they, they both basically will load quicker. The thing about a vault is that you don't need really large images, all right? Because most of the time you're just adding a note to a screen. It doesn't need to be super huge and detailed. Um, the one area where I need to share like a full screen image is kind of like when I'm sharing it to a player view, right? So if I right click an image from my vault, and go, oh, I can't actually do it in this one now. Hang on a sec. Where are we gonna go? We'll go into here. If I come down to here and go, oh, open window. Aha, I've actually got an extra plugin that's breaking that at the moment, but open image, right? And I'm sharing that with my players. You can see that that's not really crisp. That's probably the one area where having better detailed images is an actual um, benefit for me. And for anyone who doesn't know my setup, when I play, I have a third screen hanging on my wall behind my DM station facing my players. And I send images up to that screen using this second window plugin, um, which just lets me right click and go open a window and off it goes. That's the only time where I really need to have crisp and clear images, right? Because outside of that, it's really not necessary. All right, now, what we're going to do, and I, I, I've obviously got an issue there with plugins getting in the way, as you can see, but we'll, we'll deal into that and dive into that. What I've been looking at is ways to automatically have my images optimize when I actually paste them, all right? And, See, I'm just going to do a quick Google search for an NPC, right? We're going to just drag a, a picture. Um, now to do this first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the plugin that I'm going to show you how to use. We're going to disable that for now. We'll go to the bottom of this note just to mess around. All right, and I'm going to open a picture and I'm just going to paste that in. All right, that's actually a JPEG. That doesn't suit my needs. We've got a PNG. There we go, there's a PNG. All right, so we've got an image. All right, I don't know who's done this, apologies, so I can't give them credit, um, but uh, I think that's their signature there. Um, but it's in a PNG file, all right? And let's just go through and have a look at that. If we right click and we go reveal in System Explorer. All right, we can have a look down here. And if we go and have a look at more options and properties, we can see that image is 1.04 meg. All right. I'm just going to write that down. All right, so one image, one meg. All right, obviously, well, let's see if we can optimize that. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin, and I found a few. So community plugins, uh, go browse. The first one I actually played with, if we do a search for JPEG, 
This one worked really well. Paste image PNG to JPEG by Musog. Um, I was basically using this up until this morning. This was working quite nicely. And basically you can, um, you just copy uh, things in. One thing I really liked about it is it's got an auto rename. All right, so depending on the note that you pasted in it, it would actually stay, bring that note name in and then timestamp it. I thought that was quite cool. Um, but basically it just converts the image when you paste it into a JPEG. Now, I'm not using this one currently, all right? I've done some research and, you know, JPEGs are kind of a bit of an old, um, old uh, sort of file type, right? They're not used as wildly anymore. Where'd it go? Oh, I've got to turn it off. What was this? Paste image to JPEG. Down here. There it is. We'll turn that one off. All right, what I've got here though is another one called Image Converter. All right, so let's go browse. Let's have a look at Image Convert. Image Converter. All right, so this one here by Xrail. Um, it looks like it's still in development. I can see a few things going on. Um, there is some research here that the developer's done though on different compression rates and sort of loss. All right, and what that basically means is when you make something smaller, sometimes you lose the quality, all right? Um, and he's uh, got a bit of a summary down here with a conclusion. I really liked this because I'm not a, a tech image guy, all right? I'm not one of those people that knows and understands all the things about images and loss and all that sort of stuff. But he's done the research um, and WebP is the one that's basically been recommended. Um, it's got the um, best compression ratio, which means we're gonna get this, the smaller size, um, but it's got the least loss as well when converting that. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and enabled this, all right, and that gives me the functionality. And let's just do a basic test with that enabled. All right, so we've got this image here now. Um, we're basically going to copy that same image again. All right, but see that it actually converted it then to WebP. Now, oh, I just noticed this, it has also done the name thing that I like, all right? So chapter 11, Death to the Worm Speakers, 2023, 09, 23rd, the date's right. It's even got a timestamp. All right, but let's just open this up in the System Explorer and just have a look at the, the variation of the size. All right, so we got 72 kilobytes. All right, that is absolutely massive. All right, so basically where we would get, um, how many KB in a meg? So there's a thousand kilobytes in a meg. All right, that's taking me back to my, my, my nerd school days. Um, but that's obviously, that's really compressed that. Let's have a look at it in the vault and see what it looks like. It's pretty hard. I wonder if we can actually do a side by side. Let's go a bit larger. My eyes are starting to fail guys. I'm getting old. There we go. All right, so on the left, we've got the PNG. On the right, we've got the um, the WebP. And you can see, like you can, I can barely tell the difference looking at it like this. Um, if we open it in the window, all right, that's still very acceptable. There, I, I can barely tell the difference, right? But what it's done is it's shrunk the size of that image right down. Now, just to call out another feature of this plugin, um, you can actually resize it with your mouse. All right, so that might be cool for some people, but yeah, that's it, right? That's that's quite simply it. You install the plugin, and then when you paste things, it just basically shrinks it, um, puts it into WebP, and by doing that, it's going to significantly bring down the size of your vault. All right, and then obviously when you're sending that over to, uh, or publishing it to your Obsidian Publish um, website, then that's going to basically allow you to um, have faster load times. It's gonna decrease the way that's working as well. So I think that's a really good outcome. 
I'll say a quick uh, thanks um, for the image for the uh, the author uh, or, um, or the artist for who's you know writing these. I think these are pretty cool NPC pictures. Uh, hats off! I wish I could draw like this. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Nice, short, sharp, and shiny. A lovely way to sort of keep your vault down. Um, gives you that additional functionality. So. Yeah, hopefully you'll find that useful. Um, if you are enjoying these videos, please do like and subscribe. They certainly help me uh, keep the channel active and draw in more viewers. Um, outside of that, if you are looking for help on how to use Obsidian, do not forget that we have the Obsidian TTRPGTutorials.com website. Jump over to there. I do recommend you jump into the community and support section. All right, because in there is a link to the Obsidian TTRPG community discord. That is where we're all hanging. If you need support or help or just want to kick the bucket with all of us, come in and jump in. It's a really large community these days. It's very active. So you can learn a lot and you can help share your knowledge as well. We certainly appreciate that. All right, outside of that, guys, nice and quick one. Enjoy your day. I will speak to you on the socials.